Hello, and welcome to day 10 of the 12 Days of Anime, which I know are after Christmas, but we're going to keep going with this anyway. Today, I want to talk to you about the new seasons of FLCL, and specifically, what they did right. This is sort of a counter video to the one I did on Digimon Try, since they were both about a series that came out around 15 or 20 years after the original and really wasn't needed. But while I did not care for a Digimon Try, I really like the new seasons of FLCO. Also, this video will be mostly spoiler free for the new seasons of FLCO. So, when I was talking about Digimon, I just talked about the two things that I showed needed to do if it was to succeed after coming back after so long. And these two things are first, capture the feeling of the original, and also move beyond that to do something new and interesting. And well, both these FLCL did. First, talking about recapturing the feelings of the old series. The original FLCL is probably the weirdest anime I have ever seen, and that is a big part of the appeal. It changes our style whenever it wants, defies logic with everything, and it does not follow normal storytelling conventions. It's not a series that is made to be easily understood, and that's what makes it so much fun. Things happen that make no sense, and I just find myself laughing at them. Though, as you start piecing together what it gives you, you see that it is a story about a young man figuring out what it means to be an adult mixed with a sci-fi story about aliens. And moving on to the new seasons, they were full of fun in Sandy, and I was laughing at, I think, every episode, just at all the absurd twists that the show would take. It still defies logic, and that's what makes it work so well. Like the time where Haruka hit a girl in the head with a guitar so hard, a food truck came out the other side of her head. And best of all, it made sense in context. Or all the random references Haruka was making as she fought, yelling out Michael Bay as she took down a robot. FLCL is still all about the insanity, and the new seasons embrace that as much as the original, if not more so. But beyond just random things happening because random things are fun, the themes of growing up are told through both of the new seasons as well. Each season of FLCL is mostly standalone. The main characters outside Haruka are different every season, and while the mechanics of the world are the same, the overall story arc for each season is standalone. So through each season, we see a group of students learning what it means to grow up through their interactions with Haruka and all the crazy events happening all around her. I also just love all the crazy things Haruka does. Yes, many of them are illegal in one way or another, Sometimes multiple ways, but part of Haruka's charm is that she does the most crazy things that someone could think of, and they all make sense if you understand what she's really after. Well, most of it makes sense. There's still some which I don't understand. The blend of insane nonsense combined with the themes of growing up are FLCL's trademark. Which brings me to one of my kind of complaints about the show in Season 3, and that's that it made too much sense. I understand how weird this is for me to say. Typically, I like it when I fully understand a series when I finish it. But FLCL is weird. It defies normal rules of storytelling. I don't fully understand what the aliens are after, or how NO works, or how everything ties together. And normally I would be a bit bothered by this, but with FLCL, that's kind of the point. Which brings me back to Season 3. Season 3 followed a much more traditional storytelling arc. You have the main girl, her three friends, and episodes 2 through 5 each flesh out one of those characters. And through these, it tells a story about what it means to grow up, and that makes the show feel like a kind of slice-of-life drama. And when it was sci-fi, it actually made a lot of sense. But you could also see that the weirdness of the season is that it isn't as weird, thereby making it weird, if that makes any sense. Or you could say this is symbolic. It is about the characters in high school who are almost grown up, therefore a journey to learn what it means to grow up would not be as weird as an elementary school student. Whatever the case, it was still a lot of fun, and both seasons captured the fun and sanity, plus an interesting story, so I was very happy here. The second thing that a show has to do after coming back for me to be happy with it is to create something new. And again, for FLCL, I think the answer is yes. 
and it does so through these new characters. Season 3 especially did this with all the time spent on friendship and growing up and how they tie together, leading to some very interesting and surprising moments. It gives a more concrete answer about what it means to grow up, while also showing the challenges of doing so. I also felt that FLCL Season 3 showed more of the world in the reactions to the strange events happening in the town, which was good to see. Season 2 also went to some darker places than the original, though a lot of this was more implied than directly shown. Either way, I'd say FLCL is a worthy addition to the series. But is it as good as the original? That is hard to say because of how hard it is to judge FLCL. Any pseudo-objective analysis of its storytelling or anything else just breaks down because it doesn't even try to follow those rules. So any criticism you could throw at it could just be dismissed as saying, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. And this weirdness will make it so that some people won't like FLCO, or they won't like the new seasons, or both. But for me personally, I think I did enjoy this as much as the original, if not a bit more so. Which, really big surprise. So yes, if you like FLCO, if you like completely insane shows, give the new seasons a try. Again, if you go into it with super high expectations, you might be let down, but go into it for the experience of FLCO, and I think you'll find something to enjoy. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a couple days with the last video for the 12 days, day 11. Now to figure out exactly what I want to do for that. Talk to you then.